on that tragic story out of Tangibaho Parish, where deputies are searching for the mother of a premature baby found by sanitation workers in Tickfaw. Well, today, they released the results of an autopsy. Meg Ferris joins us live from Whiskey Lane, where the baby was found. Meg. Well, Karen, there are several test results from the cor coroner that could take a while, um, including the toxicology report, to determine why the baby that was found here in Tickfaw on this road may have been stillborn and was premature. Now, the male white newborn weighed only 3 pounds 11 ounces, and I talked to an independent OBGYN who estimated that that would have made the baby 8 to 10 weeks premature. The terrible news spread fast in the small community of Tickfaw. Wednesday morning here on Whiskey Lane near Stone Lane, sanitation workers had just dumped several garbage containers into the truck. As they started the compactor, one worker stopped it as he saw an infant among the refuse. He called 911 and Tangipahoa deputies came to get the unclothed baby boy. A tarp was used to block the gruesome scene. It is very possible that the mother would live in this general area. Neighbors are upset. It's very sad that a parent would just throw a child away. What's this world coming to? People in the area say police are swabbing pregnant women's cheeks for DNA. It's to determine if they are still expecting. A mother of a pregnant daughter, you know, and she was telling me that the police came and they were, you know, trying to get her daughter so they can get a DNA test of her to see if maybe that was her child. And then there's women coming in and, you know, like complaining whether they're, they're saying that their cheeks are swabbed, like, oh, my daughter got her cheeks swabbed, just to make sure that they are still pregnant or something. The sheriff's department cannot reveal any parts of the investigation. But the autopsy revealed that the baby boy had only been in the garbage can for hours and that most likely he was stillborn. Indications are that the baby had never taken a breath once outside the womb. Deputies are concerned and ask your help to find the mother. Our primary concern at this time is certainly to identify the mother and to make sure that the mother physically is safe, getting any type of medical care that uh, she may have uh, needs for. Now, you're urged, if you know anything, to call Crime Stoppers or to call the Tangipahoa Sheriff's Office. And also a reminder that Louisiana has safe haven laws, so any time from birth to 60 days after birth, you can bring anonymously your baby to a hospital, fire station, police station with no questions asked and without the fear of being prosecuted. Reporting live from Tickfaw, Meg Farris, Eyewitness News. Meg, thank you.